your girl adabe k if you're new here hello welcome so in today's video i'm going to share what i do to prepare my kids for the new year and i know that some parents make the mistake of not doing some of these things that's why i'm sharing it with you all so guys happy new year if you're new to this space hello welcome don't forget to like share with your family and friends and don't forget to subscribe to this channel so let's get right to it is the perfect time to prepare your child yourself and the entire family for the new year it's a perfect time to set goals for the entire family have you ever thought about preparing your child for the new year do you think it's only adults that engage in new year resolutions no that's why you need to keep watching this video new year resolutions are not just for adults teenagers and children can as well prepare for the new year have their new year resolution. Setting new year resolutions with kids help you instill good habits and beneficial habits for them as well. The very first thing I do with them is that we pray into the new year, guys. Yes, I usher them into the new year by praying with them. We thank God for his blessings, for seeing us into the new year. By that time, they may not really understand because they are usually sleepy midnight. So when we wake up in the morning, I explain the new year to them. I tell them it's a new year. We are no longer in 2022. We are in 2023. And I set goals for them. I set goals that I know that whatever age they are at that time, they will achieve those goals. Yes, like my daughter is going to be four this year. And one of her goals for the year is to learn how to swim. Yes, I want her to learn that skill this year. And when I'm done with setting goals with them and I tell them, girls, this is what I want you guys to do this new year. I hope you guys can do this. We pray that God will help us achieve all these goals. Then I don't forget to dewarm them, guys. Once you are back from the village, you guys know that the Christmas, um, the festival period is filled with eating, drinking, fun and everything. I will always be one of my kids when I come back home, guys. Because those children will budge. They will mix Holandia with malt and Fanta and juice. They mix up all those things in their system. You guys already know that I live in Nigeria. And Africa is home to malaria, guys. I wouldn't lie. So I usually give my kids anti-malaria medications to prevent any malaria they must have gotten from the village guys another thing i do for them is that i buy them new bathing sponge i don't know why some parents do not change their children's sponge i see some parents having sponges that <laughs> those sponge they are not even they don't look nice but every year i make sure i buy new sponge for my kids i would throw away the old one and make sure they have new sponge so if you haven't bought a sponge for your child this new year please go and get one for them this new year it's very very important they are easy need to scrub their body you don't know whether it's dirty but please it's a new year change that sponge for them another thing i do also is i get them a new toothbrush guys i know that toothbrush is to be changed every three months yes in the new year, I make sure they start off with a new toothbrush, a new um, tongue cleaner, a new toothbrush, everything new for them, for their dental care. So if you haven't gotten toothbrushes for your kids this year, go and buy those toothbrushes now. Like, I don't know what you're waiting for. Don't let them use that toothbrush of 2022 into this new year. It's not advisable. And make sure you change their toothbrushes every two months. Yes, they are kids and the brush morning and night. I don't, I don't usually keep them till three months, but I make sure I change it every two months or even every month I change it for them. Because how much is toothbrush? You just need to change it for them. Guys, another thing I do is that I wash all their toys. I make sure I bring out all their toys. I wash everything, their dolls, their toys. I make sure everything is washed because obviously during the Christmas, there's so much dust and it's a new year. I want everything to be looking clean and, you know, brand new. So I wash their toys. If you haven't washed your kids' toys and you're seeing me, please go and wash their toys. Please and please wash their toys. It's very important. I 
in the new year i take out clothes that i know they are not going to wear again maybe no longer their size and i try to give them away i change their underwears i change their socks i just make sure that their closet is new if there are stuff that are no longer needed in their closet i will change it guys yes this is the perfect time to do all that i also like to change their cutleries because sometimes they use this thing over and over and over and over again the new year i just try to change their cutleries if you haven't done that and you feel that their cutleries are too old guys this is the perfect time for you to change their cutleries i hope you guys enjoyed this short video and don't forget to share it to your family and friends and don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel thank you so much and see you guys in my next videos